பாத்தனா சாமையா போலிங் போட்டா அணி எப்பவுமே சொல்லுவான்டா அணி நீ தான் பெஸ்ட்னு சொல்லுவான்டா யாருமே இல்ல கலகணம் சரியா சென்னை சூப்பர் கிங்ஸ்க்கு போய் பின்னிடணும் முத்தையா முரளிதரன் கிட்ட வந்து எல்லா ஜூசி உறிஞ்சிடணும் and i was famished because i i wasn't in the team and then he turned left towards kasi and said ina kasi edriya and that particular line and the fact that kasi was standing kasi sir was standing in the podium changed my life altogether i received a contract from chennai super kings the very next day You, you you just don't know how funny life is people can push you on to different perimeters and different levels and 2008 i went into the dressing room met all the greats matthew hayden mahendra singh dhoni i mean i had very little words i didn't win an argument because i didn't try for, to have one but i had sat through 2008 and somewhere in that particular season i had i mean i was a no one then i mean where am i to play in a team that had mutaya murli garan mr n srinivasan then was an office bearer in the bcci if i'm not wrong sir you might have been the treasurer or the secretary uh, i think he was a treasurer so mahendra singh dhoni was walking back from a press conference who i wish to thank very deeply i would be indebted for the rest of my life to mahendra singh dhoni for what he gave me uh, he gave me an opportunity with a new ball to go head on against chris gale to probably know 17 years later that anil bai would be talking about that particular episode and i'm truly grateful for that he was walking back with his usual you know people around him there were a lot of people i'm not sure dr baba was still hanging around he might have not been there <laughs> he was not the media manager then he was coming back and i was catching balls that jacob horam horam was tonking from the center of the pitch i was catching it with the mitt i had never seen a baseball mitt till then so i thought i'll catch it with it it was really really, really easy than catching it two hands and mr shrinivasan out of nowhere jumped out he was wearing this you know i i think he was wearing one of these probably one of these overcoats and he just walked in he said ms ms that's how he addressed him at that point of time and he looked at him and he said you know there is a boy called ashwin he bowls off spin and he is very good for tamil nadu i think you should have a look at him and he looked at sir and said yes sir i will look at him the conversation ended but i still very very clearly remember that moment and several other moments from there on he called me in 2013 and said they wanted to drop you but i put my foot down and said he was the player of the series in the last series we need to continue with him if you want play two off spinners and that was my first game of having played with harbhajan singh in this wonderful ground i played head on with him in a test match knowing what it stood for me and several years later he recalls every one of those moments i'm just astonished at the kind of memory he still holds with himself i would again be failing in my duties if i didn't refer to anil bai at all in this conversation several moments we've had when he was the coach of the team anil bai is one of those interestingly wonderful souls that i've met he so insightful knows the game inside out completely honest but yet would never hurt anyone in a conversation <laughs> that's that's one lesson i learned from him because i'm 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 honest to a point where i can hurt people and since i met anil kumble and worked with rahul dravid and worked with rohit sharma and several other people i have understood when you make conversations that you don't necessarily hurt people and you can get on the other side life truly is a very enjoyable journey when you come across such wonderful people and learn from them